we are here today to talk about the SkyRC battery discharger analyzer. It is the model BD250. It is a 250 watt um, discharger analyzer. Uh, it lets you discharge your batteries. If, for instance, you go flying there in the day, for whatever reason you can't get your packs flown out, you gotta go, something goes wrong, anyway, you, you end up with charged packs, this little device here is a handy way of uh, discharging. It is rated 250 watts, so it can push up to 35 amps. It's got a temperature controlled fan on top, so it helps to get rid of it and dissipate the heat. It has a display that shows voltage and milliamp hours actually pulled and actually shows you the amps. The other thing that's cool is it comes with software, where this software here actually lets you track and trend and watch it over time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this thing up and we're going to let you take a peek and see how it runs. Okay, we are back. Let's go ahead and hook this thing up. So I've got, I've got a little pigtail I'll meet here. This is what is power input. This connects to your battery. So this plugs into the side. All right, plugs into the side here. We will plug it into our battery. We're going to do a little 6S battery pack. So we are plugged into our battery. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and plug this into the computer. So this is the cord that plugs into the side. We are now connected. So, this is what it looks like when it first plugs in. All right. There's our, uh, it's energized. We're reading 23.5 volts on this 6S battery pack. And right now the amp is dialed at 10. Okay, so we've got our battery hooked up. We've got it energized and hooked up the computer. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and watch the computer screen. And we'll go ahead and turn this thing on and get it going. All right. Now, we have selected LiPo. We're going to do constant current. We've told it it's a six cell battery. We want to do a discharge end voltage at 3.3 volts per cell. We're going to check charging current. And we're going to charge, and we can slide this left or right to put where we're charging current. But let's go ahead and do a discharge current of, say, nine volts we're run at nine all right you've got options down here to pick what you want to see on the graph so we're going to pick what our current's going to be we want to look at our voltage and the capacity so that's how much we're actually pulling out you have the ability here to save the images and save the file do some default scales and export to excel so these are all things that allow you to actually display the data so from our standpoint let's hit start so we are now off and running You'll see here that as we've got going, we are now tracking our current. Our current's ramped up. We're now drawing nine amps. Our voltage is running, uh, we're running at 22 volts down here, and you'll see the voltage is dropping, and our current is climbing up. I'm oh, sorry, our ampacity, the milliamp hours. You hear the fan kicking on to start to dissipate some heat. Let's look at the unit itself. So that's what the unit looks like as it's running. It's actually displaying the voltage, going between voltage and milliamp hours on the left. So it kind of cycles back and forth to let you see what your voltage is and how milliamp hours you've actually consumed. And you can see how many amps it's drawing. All right, let's go back and watch this data for a few minutes. All right, we're back with a live example of a test on a battery that I'm having problems with. Lift off, fly, and 30 to 40 seconds in, even on a full charge, I'm getting a low voltage condition. So the battery just can't hold voltage right now. So I'm gonna hook it up to this uh, battery discharge analyzer. We're gonna watch what happens. The battery is fully charged right now, and we will see how it runs. Now we're just gonna do the a single 6S part of this 12S pack, but let's go ahead and turn this on and see how it runs. Okay, we are back. So we've gone through, we've set it at six cells. We've assigned 3.3 volts per cell as our low end discharge in voltage. We're gonna set the current at, let's see, we're at 5,000, so let's run at 2C, so let's go 10 amps. Let's go 3C, let's go 15 amps. We'll run up about 15 amps. That's close enough. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. 
we are off and running. So you'll see here where our amp draw is coming up. So we're starting to draw 10 amps, 11 amps right now. Now, like I said, it is a 250-watt uh, unit, so it's only able to draw 250 watts. So obviously, the lower the voltage, the more amps it draws. So apparently, at 250 watts, we can draw about 11 amps on a 6S battery. So we'll let this thing run for a few minutes here. Now that we've seen the assembly, we're going to go ahead and zoom in. And there's the installation, there's the battery, there's the discharge unit itself. Let's just watch the data generate. Okay, we'll go ahead and call that good for right now. So let's go ahead and save the image. So we're going to save this image as test JPEG. And we're going to replace it. So let's save that image out there. Alright, then we will go ahead and hit stop. Let's see what the image looks like. There's our JPEG right there. There we go. So there's your historical data. Now you can actually export this to a Excel spreadsheet like you saw earlier. But this right here demonstrates that over the life of this battery, the only thing grow it, when it went from fully charged to about 3.4 volts per cell, which is pretty much a discharge battery, that was only 2,500 milliamp hours. So this battery literally is now running less than half its rate of life. Anyway, this is how you could use it. I uh, hope this has been helpful. There's the picture of the assembly again. The unit itself, like I said, it is now stopped. And um, you see it's still cycling. It's at 22.2 volts right now. And um, anyway, you guys have yourself a good one. Take care and fly safe.